thanks again for doing this. Um, I know that we interned together, but I never really got to ask you about what you do at your new job. And I think it's really exciting that you're working at Amazon as a software engineer. So I think you'll have a lot of good advice about someone who's just graduated from school since um, you just graduated in May. So yeah, would you like to give everyone a quick intro about like who you are, um, where you went to school, um, how you got started in software engineering, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for having me on here, Jasmine. I really appreciate it and I'm excited to be here. So my name is Kamini. Um, I graduated from Iowa State this May um, with a degree in software engineering. Um, me and Jasmine met at Nordstrom um, where we interned. I actually interned there for two summers. Um, and this July, I started a full-time job at Amazon as a software development engineer. Um, how I got into software engineering, um, it's not that crazy of a story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was some super inspiring story, <laughs> but <laughs> um, I think I actually like um, signed up for chemical engineering when I applied to Iowa State. Oh, and my dad was like, oh, like, you know, computer science is super big. Like, why don't you take a Java class and see if you like it? I was like, oh, okay, I guess I have nothing better to do this summer. <laughs> so I did, and I actually really liked it and I thought it was good at it. So I like emailed my advisor and I was like, hi, um, is it possible to change my major? And then she just changed it for me. It was like super easy. <laughs> and then, um, you know, at first it was hard because there were a lot of people, you know, in the major who had been coding for like five years, like, and they were just so used to it. And I was just like really intimidated by them and the fact that they knew so much more than me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad that I stuck with it because I feel like I learned a lot and I met a lot of really cool people and I'm working in a pretty cool field today. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I think you kind of already touched on it, but what did other um, career paths that you considered other than software engineering? Um, I know that you majored in software engineering, but when you were thinking about what you wanted to do after graduation, was it something that you knew that you wanted to do? Um, I think one thing I've kind of been like conflicted about is like product management versus mm -hmm. software engineering, yeah. just because I'm like a big people person and I like solving business problems too. Yeah. So I think for now I'm sticking to software engineering and I'm thinking mm -hmm. of climbing more of like a leadership business track within it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. But I like software engineering because it's like, it's so diverse, especially today, like every single field needs software engineers and the yeah. problems, you know, that we solve are so unique and so interesting. Um, it's a pretty cool place to be. Yeah, for sure. So what was the interview process like for you? Um, I know as for new graduates, it might be a little bit different than um, internships, but maybe you could touch on like the interview processes for how you got your internships or just your first job and things like that. Like, was it like yeah. applying to like hundreds or like, was it like going to like a career fair? Like how did it really work? <laughs> so this actually the reason I got my Amazon job is a really interesting story um so I had accepted my offer to go back to Nordstrom and I was all planned to go back I was like awesome I'm gonna be working here yeah. I like my team and then I went on LinkedIn and I saw this post that they were canceling internships or something um, yeah <laughs> and then I freaked out I was like oh my gosh like are they not doing well and I messaged one of my friends and I was like what's going on like how's the company doing <laughs> and then he was like oh yeah I got furloughed this person got furloughed that person got furloughed and I was like what <laughs> apparently my manager got furloughed oh, yeah, my mentor my got furloughed <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I was like oh my gosh like I'm an international student like I don't know if I want to work here this is so uncertain like I can't afford to be furloughed <laughs> 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 so I started looking for jobs again it was a pretty like scary time in my life where I was like oh my god I'm not gonna have a job I'm gonna have to leave the country oh my gosh all of these things and um I was really lucky that my current manager reached out to me on LinkedIn mm -hmm. and he was like hi I'm you know interviewing for my team like would you be interested and I'm like yeah that sounds cool 
And then he was like, okay, recruiter will <laughs> set you up in the interview. So I had one interview with this guy on my team, which is, he's weirdly became my mentor, but um, it was like a 45 minute interview, like 15 minutes, behavioral, 30 minute coding. It wasn't that bad. I'd say it was like elite code, um, mm-hmm. easy to medium. Um, Amazon's really big on like their leadership principles. Mm-hmm. So they like in the behavioral part is kind of them asking me questions about those leadership principles. Okay. And then after I found out that I passed that, they scheduled a four round interview with me, which was like the final round, which was like virtual. So I was just sitting in like my bedroom for like five hours, which was so annoying. But um, they were really nice. Like they asked me if I wanted, um, you know, like to talk to someone on the team informally. And so I talked to um, this girl on my team and like for 30 minutes, just got to know her, which was super cool. Cause I felt like I got to learn more about their culture in a non stress interview kind of way yeah so that was nice um for the final round it was like three um like technical interviews where I did like coding questions with behavioral questions and then I had one system design question as well okay cool yeah so what is a day in the life like for you um or like just a week in the life what kind of tasks do you work (laughs) on or like things that you're responsible for (laughs) So right now my work is a little different to how it's probably going to be in a month (laughs) Um, because I'm still new. So for the first um, like six months, what my team does is they give you like onboarding tasks to make sure that you get a good understanding of how all the systems and components work and communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. Um, So the past like three months I've been working on like just like random tasks to give me an understanding of how different systems communicate Mm -hmm. and right now I'm working on my own project um where they want me to like um design um like it from scratch so like right now um I just had a design review yesterday where my team signed up on my design that I've been working on and probably tomorrow um, I'm going to present my design to other teams so they can give me approval and then I'll probably get started on it um Mm -hmm. After that, I'm gonna join our main sprint and I'll be picking up tasks just like any other engineer. Mm -hmm. Um, Generally on the daily, I wake up at like eight, maybe 8.30 if I'm really sleepy. (laughs) And then I start work um, maybe about 8.45, nine. Um, And then we have stand up at 10.30. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll have meetings in between. Like today we have a sprint grooming meeting. Sometimes I'll have one-on-ones with my mentor or a manager or just other random meetings. Um, Mm -hmm. Otherwise I'll be working on my tasks throughout the day. Um, Since we're working from home, if I have problems, I'll just like message someone and then, you know, I'll call them and then we'll like share screens. And that's kind of how we work with each other. Okay, yeah, cool. So what are some of the tools and technologies you use now? Um, Any specific programming languages or like programs that you use like a lot on your job? So we use a lot of Java, um, like Java 8. um, And then we use React, we use TypeScript, AWS. I mean, I guess all (laughs) implementations probably use AWS. and we use like some internal things as well that's specific to Amazon, um, like a language called Fusion, um, which is like a functional programming language oh. and like some other interesting languages that I've never worked with before. <laughs> um, but it's, it's honestly mainly, a lot of our code is in Java and like, um, okay. like React. Okay, cool. So any last words of advice for somebody who is considering doing software engineering after graduation, maybe wants to work at a similar company, um, things like that, anything else that you do that you did like in school or outside of school that you think led you to this path? (laughs) Yeah. um, So I think that networking is super important. Um, I'm like going to conferences. Mm -hmm. Um, I got my job at Nordstrom through the Grace Hopper conference. Mm -hmm. Um, They don't recruit from my school. And I didn't even know they hired software engineers, you know, because it's Uh not something you immediately think of like fashion and tech. Mm -hmm. So definitely take advantage of all the opportunities you can. There's so many out there. 
and try and meet as many people as you can. I think a lot of the opportunities I heard about was because sophomore year, I tried to insert myself into like the tech community at school and like get more involved. So I met some really cool people who were doing super cool things. And I was like, like, tell me about it. <laughs> like, can I be <laughs> part of it too? You know? Yeah. So I feel like that was a big thing for me. And like being active on LinkedIn, like, mm-hmm. as I like said earlier, like I basically got my job through LinkedIn, right? So, mm-hmm. you know, comment and post, make sure your profile is up to date, post if you can, and mm-hmm. you get a lot of traction and you'll meet a lot of really cool people and make contacts through there. Um, you know, they always say your network is your net worth. <laughs> yeah (laughs) it's super true honestly yeah well yeah I think that is and another thing is probably like staying in touch with people and like not like forwarding bridges and things like that because like like even after like you leave an internship or something like there's people like still kind of cross paths with it later on and like you never know like you already accepted a job offer but you know things change (laughs) I know, honestly. And one thing I'm honestly realizing is like, it's so important to have a good impression on the people you work with, because Mm -hmm. it's such a small world, like you might just work again with them someday, or they might refer you to their next company. So you want them to think well of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks so much for doing this interview. I think this was really interesting and helpful. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was so much fun. (laughs) 